You people think I wasn't going to talk about it. You think I wasn't going to mention the aliens? All these UFOs we got flying above our heads? You thought I had nothing to say about the disclosures? About how you never see no aliens over in China? Well, guess again, you egg-sucking ninnies. I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about these alien sons of bitches. First things first, they're not aliens at all. They're demons. And they're here to replace God. Oh, shit, look, there's one right there. Hey, hey, get the hell out of here. I know what you are. How dare you step into my studio? Get out of here, demon. I spit on you. Be gone, demon. Anyway, uh, I'm not doing this voice as a bit. I have COVID. I know some of you people are excited seeing UFOs and aliens taken more seriously, getting down to the bottom of it. You got this notion in your head that the aliens are going to come down to Earth and solve all our problems with space magic. Well, the bad news is they ain't aliens at all. They're demons in disguise, and they got you right by the balls. And if you don't believe me, well, maybe you'll believe an astrophysicist. Are aliens and UFOs demonic? Astrophysicist reveals why UFO claims aren't what they seem by CBN News. See, I told you I got all the evidence right here in play. And I'd love to get your take on this, right? You know, what exactly would you would you definitively say, and it seemed like you were saying this, that these are, this is essentially the angelic and demonic realm, really the demonic realm that maybe we're dealing with here in a spiritual sense, not a literal alien flying around in, in space in the physical. Well, back in the 1960s, the U.S. government commissioned the physicist Alan Hynek to investigate the UFO phenomenon. Uh -huh. uh, but what's interesting about these close encounters, it's never beneficial. It's always deleterious. The best you're going to come away from with one of these encounters is recurring terrifying nightmares. Worst case scenario, you get killed. Oh, he's using a lot of big words here, so let me make it simple for you folks. They're demons. Because what you notice in these close encounters, it's exclusively experienced by people who have significant involvement in the occult. And when you remove that occult factor, that's the end of the UFO encounter. I got an idea. Let's sprinkle a couple comments in here. They are no doubt demonic. I found it interesting in the book of Ezekiel how things were described as living creatures and the descriptions are like UFOs. Makes more sense now. Yeah, it does make more sense now. That's right. These fallen angels can take whatever form they choose. They can appear as your dead grandfather. They can appear as a flying saucer. They can appear as a leprechaun. Yes, they are interdimensional demons. He makes plenty of sense. It's demonic for sure. I have to tell you, as you're describing all of this, you know, my my background, one of the things I've worked on is a book on on evil and looking at demons and possession. Oh, it's cool they got the lead singer from Sugar Ray to interview this guy. If you want to send an animal, a physical animal, roughly the size of a human being, across interstellar space, number one, you're looking at thousands of years to make the trip. I was saying the same thing. Lions, demons. Ever hear of CE5? You can literally summon these things, just like the demonic rituals vault. And so at a minimum, uh, you're going to need a spaceship that's a thousand kilometers across. And if you really want to be safe about doing it, you're going to need something about the size of our moon. He mentions you need send spaceship the size of the moon. The moon is man-made. I'm glad God-fearing men are addressing these issues, and I am redeemed from the UFO culture. Exactly what this man said is true. From experience, I say this. Jesus will walk us through all the lies even when we falter. He will prove the truth. All right, well, here's proof I'm going to leave a comment pretty sure this guest is an alien, which by the way means he is also a demon. Here's my evidence. Just look at him. This guy looks like someone typed intergalactic alien demon acting like a human into an AI image generator. And then this guy walked into the room and they went, oh fuck, that's even better. He looks like John Malkovich is playing him in real life. Also, whoever this host guy is, he looks like a waitress's worst nightmare. I'll bet he leaves those little fake $1 bills that say the love of Jesus is the only tip you need. I don't know what the hell CBN news is, but looking at these two guys, I'm afraid to know what the end stands for. For. Big conspiracy salvia over and out. And post! Now I'm doing this show not to toot my own horn and prove that I'm right once again. No. I'm doing it as a cautionary tale, y'all. I know some of you want to interact with these star-dwelling demonic forces. But don't do it. It's a bad idea. Do the right thing if you come across an alien. Immediately kill it. And then bag it up, film a video of it in your garage like this guy did. <laughs> Hey.
any second now, this video is going to get good. There you go, folks. That's what a demon looks like. I just want to know what kind of buckshot I used to take this little sucker out. I think it was thoughtful to put it in a space blanket. If it's a real video, a little bit of compassion would have been nice. I don't know if this is real, but it sure gave me the hebagibus LOL. There are 1,000 year old drawings on cave walls clearer than this video. breathing like he Darth Vader behind that camera. What's the deal with the heavy breathing? Someone's getting off. Him breathing heavily into the camera is more disturbing than the actual alien. Why is this guy breathing so heavenly? All right, well, the show is called Internet Comment Etiquette, so let me show you how to leave a comment on this video. Hey, can you shut the fuck up next time you film one of these? You sound like James Gandolfini doing a TikTok dance. Let me guess, you killed that thing because it ate your inhaler. It's great that you filmed this eye-opening footage, but I would have preferred you not run the Boston Marathon before you start recording. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I saw its eye blinking at 137, which means it's still alive and can use the power of the devil to force you to switch genders. If you don't bury this creature immediately under diatomaceous earth, then it might still crawl away and start stocking rainbow flag shirts at the nearest target. At the end of the day, I only believe things that I see with my own two eyes, which is why I just DM'd SS Sniper Wolf for your home address so I could come see it for myself. Woo! And post! So just to recap, all aliens are demons and should be shot on sight. Now, how do I know this? Well, for that information, I just turned to my man Bob Larson the real exorcist. UFO aliens are demon spirits. Okay, that's all I need to hear and play. First of all, aliens aren't from another planet. They aren't greys, reptilians, or little green men. These beings are shape-shifting demons that take on strange forms to deceive people. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a more trustworthy looking person in your life? I believe there are are unidentified flying objects that aren't weather balloons or projections of atmospheric conditions. They do defy laws of gravity and thermodynamics, and there are beings who have come from these objects and have terrified people, even beaming them up for sexual probing. Well, they certainly ain't angels if they're sticking hoo-hahs up your dickhole. Those who claim to have had a close encounter of the third kind speak of being pierced by unwelcome sexual probes, molested, even surgically examined. Such is clearly demonic. Yeah, he's really hung up on these uh, sex probes, huh? The question isn't whether there is something out there, but whether you have accepted the salvation of Christ on the cross down here. Down here? Hi, if aliens are demons, can someone tell me where they come from? And could someone explain where heaven and hell are, please? Google the Bible. That's my answer to everybody, too. Just Google the Bible. All right, here's my comment to Bob. Yes, it's true that what we have here are spacefaring, interdimensional craft capable of defying physics and all-known radar systems using technology far beyond our understanding. Behind those opaque cockpits, sitting among the various sensors and arrays used to pilot the craft, is a little devil guy straight from hell. He's laughing like he's having a good time picking up cows and rednecks and putting mechanical dildos in their orifices. Now, I understand that the guy in this video looks like a crazy homeless person who killed a priest and stole his outfit, but I assure you, he's speaking the truth. I just wish heaven had the same technology as these demons so they could protect us, but they don't. They're probably up there drowning in aborted babies thanks to the Democrats, MTV, and college education. Anyway, big ups, Bob. Keep the word flowing. And I swear, if any of these little red goblins beam me up into their spaceship and try to molest me, they're gonna turn to dust when they see the Christ on a cross tramp stamp I got while in prison. And God be with you. All right, well, I think after that family-friendly comments, a good time to tell you about today's sponsor. Ah, welcome to Psychic Bill's Parlor. You must be my two o'clock appointments. Please, have a seat. 
and fill out your full legal names on these note cards. Good. Yes, now I will consult my crystal globe. Okay. Uh. Ah, Don, you still live on Mulberry Lane, a blue house, and your birthday. May 18th, 1985. Amazing. How do you know that? You see, as you live your life, you leave behind certain energies in the form of personal information. And I have access to all of that. Okay, now me. Do me next. Oh, yes. One second. Um... Are you sure you spelled your name right on, on this? What, why, is the crystal ball not working? Oh, wait, did you sign up for incogni.com slash big money? Holy shit, yeah, I did. Dude, you are a psychic. Shit. I use incogni to take my email address off all these spam lists because it was too tedious to send the request myself and I just couldn't keep up. But incogni got to work right away on my behalf. Plus, they removed tons of other annoying personal information about me from the web. Stuff like my address and phone number, employment history, even my shopping habits. I wonder what my shopping habits are. Well, I've got you right here buying a lot of plane tickets to Canada. It's insane that you know that. Big question time. Who am I going to marry? Hey, would you like to talk to your grandma? My grandma? Hello? Donald, is that you? Grandma? Donald, make sure you tip your psychic. I will, Grandma. Okay, thanks, Grandma. Oh, man, me next. Hey, listen, pal, I've got nothing on you other than you went to incogni.com slash big money for 60% off an annual plan. Well, yeah, I mean, when I found out that thousands of data brokers are sharing, aggregating, and selling my personal information online without my knowledge, I knew I had to do something. Now I know that whenever my information pops up on some new weird website for creeps, Incogni will be there to handle it. Oh, by the way, Don, it says here your cholesterol is pretty high. Your crystal ball's got that in it? Oh yeah, medical data? Yeah, I've got everything. You're an open book, pal. You? I got nothing. You know, I had a big question too. Oh, really? What was it, man? I just want to know if I can get incogni.com slash big money as a gift for friends and family. Uh, y yes, of course you can. Yes! Oh, I knew it! Yeah, dude! I knew it! I'm so glad I came here. Thank you, Psychic Bill. Yeah, I'll see you in the car. Fuck you! So when am I gonna die? 2062. Jesus, I kinda wish I didn't ask you now. You wanna hear from your grandma one more time? Yeah, I love my grandma. Oh my god, I'm burning up! Grandma? Donald, it's so hot in here! Oh no, that doesn't sound good. No, Nana, it's supposed to be cold in heaven. Oh, please, come get me out of here! Wow, that's crazy. You better come back next Thursday. Ooh, protect your privacy today with incogni.com slash big money for 60% off an annual plan. Hello, folks, welcome back. And now I just want to say to all my soldiers of God out there, it's time to fight back. It's time to get the word out. Spread the truth. Next time somebody starts talking to you about alien disclosure, you say, no, shut your goddamn mouth. They're all demons in league with the globalists with a deal signed in baby blood. You got to tell everyone, starting with the internet. And if you don't, I will. I'm in this video game right now. I'm about to talk to these folks. Hi. Do we all have, do we all have mics? I think we do. Has everyone here bathed in the waters of Abraham? No. I bathe in um Well then I got bad news. What's your bad news? It means there's a UFO above your house filled with demons who are just waiting for your mom to come home so they can fill her with their demented seed. I'm gonna fill your butthole. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, God does that. You're a Kanye, why you like it? Because I'm a f it. Well, it looks like the devil's already gotten a hold of this boy. I better snap him out of it. Score one for the good guys. Why you have Down syndrome? No, you don't. You're just a depressed young man who doesn't know his place in the world, so you say dumb shit to fulfill a self-made prophecy of never amounting to your goals. Anyway, here's another team kill. And detonate. Oh, come on. Damn. I'm gonna die someday. Someday soon. Yeah, nobody cares, you fucking loser. Oh, hey, we won the game. Good work, team. And I like to think I spread the word about aliens being demons in there somewhere as well. Now, if I really wanted to get the word out, I'd head over to the biggest collection of emotional morons on the internet. Twitter. UFO appears on live TV in Peru. ¿Te das cuenta? Está posado en el cerro. Miren, ahí está. Oye, viste, viste, viste. Está grabado, está grabado. Estamos. 
se, nota, de nuevo, se, notó, ¿eh? se notó el borde del cerro. Vete, vete, vete. Ah, Ahí está, está en el aire. I, I can't understand a goddamn thing these people are saying. Oh, thank God, someone got an AI to translate it. We are. It shows. The edge of the hill was noticed. There it is. There it is. There it is. It is in the air. Look, 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 look at that. It's not on the hill. It's in the air. It is an object that is in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Do you realize? It is perched on the hill. Okay, yeah, you see, now it makes sense. People of this world, listen, spread the word. That is a man-made copied ET craft. It is not aliens. This is the U.S. government, Black Shadow. They fully understand the anti-gravity propulsion since 1954 with the help of ET. They go to other countries doing illegal activities. No, dickhead, it's demons. And reply. You don't know what you're talking about. You are blind, obviously. Oh, son of a bitch, gonna be like that then, huh? Oh, I'm the blind one? Our government couldn't even do it. A single 9-11 without everyone getting suspicious and you want me to believe they've got some dude named fred flying around in an anti-gravity obelisk doing light shows for brazilian fishermen or does that sound like demons do your research and tweet now that ought to shut him the hell up oh come on we are not talking about 9-11 you're getting off topic brazilian fishermen this happened in peru yeah you obviously don't know what is going on get educated first before you post comments my god You're literally too stupid to argue with, so here's a page from a coloring book to keep you busy. And attach and tweet. You see, folks, this is what we're up against. Dumb pieces of shit. You have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. And it's all the work of the devil. When people talk about CE5 and making contact, I think that it happens on multiple levels. Oh, good. Here's Dr. Stephen Greer. He's in bed with these UFO demons. He takes people out to the desert, gets them abducted, calls it CE5. I'll bet the CE stands for contacting evil. And the five is just a five. What we're doing with CE5 contact, if those of you who have the app, and if you don't, I suggest you get it, that is a program of using innate human capabilities to experience the conscious field, our own mind, but in a way that allows us to have it expanded and then be able to see or remote view these ET craft or beings. Yep, and then everybody wakes up with a sore asshole and the mark of the beast on their colon. We have the CE5 contact tones that are projected over a, a radio a transmitter. And those you can get at any store, you just hit the button and play it. And the reason for that is that's our signature and they know to, when they hear that there was a CE5 team. I'm gonna download your secret tone and get revenge on these sons of bitches for what they put inside my Uncle Skeeter and tweet. Well, shit. This video may be almost over, but the battle's only begun. I hope after this mountain of evidence I've shown you on today's show, everyone will stop getting so excited about alien evidence on social media. What we really should be focusing on is how to destroy these sons of bitches, these dirty demons. And for that information, we're really going to have to just go back to my man, Bob Larson. Hispanic woman from South America possessed by ancient Viking demons. Oh boy, I've been there and play. Yeah. How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen? How do you know about me? Well, I, I was looking for deliverance videos. Why? And when I go uh, like intimately with God, in the presence of God in my room, I just feel like I start screaming and... Well, so when you try to pray and get close to the Lord, you start screaming. Mm -hmm. Demons are very real, but Bob Larson is a showman. Hard to tell if this is an act or not. I know, it's impossible to tell. That's an interesting posture. It's almost like a military posture. I think we have a soldier here. Okay. I want to talk to the soldier. Boy, he sure likes touching her. Am I the only one who watches this but thinks maybe I'm going to be possessed too? You're not the only one. He's the god of Iceland, Aiden. You're pronouncing it Aiden. In Icelandic, it's Odin. Odin and I know each other very well. Get up, Odin! I wonder who's with you. 
That's not the old pronunciation. The old Norse word for Odin is this and pronounced roughly Othin. Shut up, nerd, and reply. Okay, this looks real, so I have a question for this exorcist. I'd he can answer. Has any of the exorcism you had done on someone left you so haunted in fear after it? Yes! I'm having a goosebumps. Best show. Wish I was there. Get up, spirit. Get up, spirit. <laughs> What's your name, spirit? Here comes the sword. Well, listen, I don't know much about exorcisms and whatnot, but I know that this is this is all real. Angels, the Lord. So we go. We go. So now. Now. Two. Two. Okay, now I will go to church. Hey, that, that's just good internet common etiquette, folks. And Bob's got a great community here. I'm happy to be a part of it. Hey, can anyone tell me how to get my toddler to stop hyper-focusing on this channel? He used to watch nothing but Baby Shark, but now he's moved on to Bob Larson for some reason. He throws a complete fit whenever I take the tablet away before the exorcism's finished. The only way he'll eat his food is if I smack him with a Bible first. He's a little troublemaker, too. He likes to play weird tones out of his fisher Price keyboard that summon red orbs into our living room. One time, I caught him floating five feet in the air, shooting bugs out of his fingertips. Anyway, my only idea is to wear a Bob Larson mask and scare the shit out of him every night for a month. That way, he'll get so traumatized he'll never want to watch this guy again. Let me know if you have any suggestions in the replies, and God be with you. Or else, and post! So there you have it, folks. No more confusion as to whatever these UFO, uh, UAP, uh, Tic Tacs thing. No more confusion. They're all demons. All of them. Especially that one. Oh, I see you, you son of a bitch. I got you this time. Yeah. Boom, there we go, one demon down. Now, where is my blanket? Hey gang, this is Uncle Dave. Eric asked that I write some copy for a merch plug for the Neon Grizzly store. I'm really tired and I took a Benadryl so I'm using this high-tech artificial intelligence to simulate my human voice. Use the coupon code STINKYSHITFART to get 10% off your order. This coupon code expires after Halloween so act now while supplies last. Plus, you never know when you might die. If you're a member of the Internet Comment Etiquette Patreon, check the official Discord for a 15% off coupon code that expires Monday at high noon Pacific Standard Time. Aliens are real. Do not trust Eric. He's big spooky Salvia, Lord of the Night. He's bringing the terror and the ghastly frights. Martin Chakralatin and Alex Bones. Leave your lights turned on if you're watching all alone. The ghouls and goblins knocking at the door. Sylvia Stein's monster is hungry for more. The beasts are howling of their king, they're afraid. He's big spooky Sylvia, he's bouncing on his boy's grave. Big spooky big Sylvia. Chakrelatin Martin Chakrelatin Dread Cruise DJ Crypt Death You will be aware <laughs>
Well, hey guys, well, I couldn't do a video on aliens without mentioning the uh, Indiegogo happening right now. Um, my friend Aaron, Aaron Mento, go follow him on Twitter. The link is on the screen. Uh, is currently fundraising for a feature length movie starring myself and Sean Coney. Uh, it's going to be absolutely insane. It's one of the craziest scripts I've ever read in my life. It's truly disgusting. All right, bye, Narfi. Anyway, link's on the screen right now. Go check it out and uh, look at all the perks. Uh, I don't even know what they are. I have nothing to do with this fundraising campaign, which is how you know it's probably going to do well. All right, hey, Narfi, want to go for a walk? I'm just kidding. It's fucking 2 in the morning. Big money, Sylvia.